Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Meraki Hugs release video YouTube hop. And we're featuring some brand new products from their latest January release with Crafty Meraki. So the first thing I'm gonna show is a couple adorable little treat boxes featuring the new Capture My Heart Meraki Paradise. So you can see uh, there's a little heart that says love that you can die cut into the boxes or you can adorn on top of your boxes. So, and I'm going to be using some Concord 9th Be Mine pattern paper. This just came out in their January release as well. And I love these delicious patterns. Now, if you have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock or pattern paper, all you got to do is cut it in half and you can make this entire little treat box with one sheet. So I cut that at five and a half, and then I put the two dies on it for the box. And now it, it pre-scores it when you run it through the die cutting machine. So you just gotta, I like to, you know, kind of pre-fold everything, kind of helps you know where everything needs to go, where to put the tape and all that jazz. So a lot of times I like to use my bone folder, but this pattern paper is not too thick. It's not, flimsy but it's not super thick that i do make another one out of cardstock and which was a little thicker and i did use my bone folder to pre-fold all those creases and whatnot so i'm using a little uh score tape eighth inch to put on the ed those little flaps so just line this up it comes together lickety split okay you just you just sit here the flaps bada boom bada bing and you got yourself the cutest little treat box kind of got a unique shape to it and the way it closes the bottom I really like how the flaps are kind of cut and you fold them in and it looks really professional like at the end you need just a little dab a score tape or adhesive whatever you like to do tuck in that little look how that comes together so neat and tidy on the bottom now the top gathers together look at the bottom there okay little peek the the top kind of gathers together there's little slots in every side on all four openings i use some kind of aqua teal ribbon i had some that was the right thickness and um, i thought that's a nice contrast with the pink pattern paper and i'm just tying a cute little bow at the top you could also use twine um, or whatever you like to tie your boxes together and you could fill it with some chocolates with a gift card maybe a cupcake i don't know let your imagination run wild maybe jewelry okay now for the heart i die cut the solid heart out of some white glittered cardstock i didn't realize until i die cut it but it actually cuts two hearts a very very thin outline and then a big solid and then i went ahead and pre-cut a little sentiment strip just a simple love you to put on the front of that box now i'm doing a second box because i want to show you how you can die cut this love heart right into the box so this time i used some i think this is paper tray ink solid color cardstock but i forget the name of the color but it's a beautiful kind of muted teal um anywho again just folding this together putting two strips of score tape on the flaps Bada boom, bada bing, it all comes together. And then tuck in the bottom. And you see how that love opening, now you could put acetate behind that if you wanna make it a, you know, a window. But I just left it open and it's really, really cute. I did some black and white polka dotted uh, ribbon to close it. And I took that leftover skinny outline of the white glitter cardstock and put that on as well for a little extra detail. And there you have two quick and simple little treat boxes. And then we're gonna move on. I have one extra card to share because I couldn't resist this rainbow. This is the Over the Rainbow Mini Slimline Meraki Paradise. And you know I love a rainbow, but this one's really cute. Haven't done a mini slimline in a while. I die cut it out of some white cardstock and I thought I'd do something a little different. I took my Copics and I'm gonna color each one of the little arches. Uh, what do we got here? We got, uh, you can see my marker caps if you can, not too far away, RV21, YR02, Y00, YG01, and B I feel like I'm playing bingo. I'll have everything linked 
in the description box so you can know exactly in case you can't see it. I probably should have zoomed in, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so very soft, pastel -y rainbow vibes coming at you. And then I took a BG-10 and just gave those clouds a little once over. And now this is just giving me the warm fuzzies. I know some people are getting sick and tired of the rainbow, but I got to tell you, I'm not. I'm here for it. And I'm always here for it. And I will always be here for it. Okay, so this card obviously was screaming shaker to me. You could just glue this down onto a card base and call it a day. But I glued a little acetate on the back to create a shaker window. And then I'm going to put some foam adhesive strips on the back. Now, I saw a comment on Facebook a couple weeks ago. I think it was on some card making page whatever but somebody said I don't know about anybody else but I'm so sick and tired of rainbow cards anybody else and I just had a chuckle by the way I used some sparkling clear sequins to fill it these are pretty pink posh and then again another little simple sentiment strip anywho I I just laughed at the comments because honestly it is you know you are who you are you love it you hate it you're sick of it but I'm one of those who just loves it okay so and I couldn't stop I couldn't stop making rainbow cards if I tried. I really couldn't. So I hope you love this. I'm sending you a hug wrapped in a rainbow today. Make sure and check out the rest of the Meraki Hugs YouTube hop. Leave comments for your chance to win some incredible prizes. Uh, and check out the new January release with Crafty Meraki. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.